torches. You don't throw it out. Call me a giant or call me a 49er Call me a warrior cause I follow a code of honor What is up guys, it's your boy Fight Night's Finest The Sofa Commentator bringing you guys a Friday Night Fights review video For Peterson vs. Holt which took place on February 22nd of 2013 And this card was a good one I'm only going to cover the co-feature and the main event in this fight. And we'll kick it off with the co-feature, which was a junior featherweight bout between Roman Morales and Jesus Hernandez, which was which was a thriller. It was a good sizzling fight to start off the main event. You know, that co-feature is always supposed to get everybody pumped up for the main event. And that's exactly what it did with Roman Morales and up hitting um, Jesus Hernandez with a beautiful left hook to the liver. That caused a delay knockdown and caused Hernandez not able to get up. Now some questions going into that fight was, was Hernandez, you know, his constant layoffs in the middle of, you know, I think it was one fight a year. Would that come back to haunt him? And how was his chin? At the end of the day, as you can see, it wasn't his chin that was questioned. It was, it was his body be able to hold up? And unfortunately, it was not. And Roman Harper ended up taking, I believe, a fourth round knockout. Um, and I was scheduled for, I believe, eight rounds in that fight as well. Now, moving on to the main event, which was the thriller of the night, which everybody was expecting. You had Kendall Holt, who was the underdog, against Lamont Peterson, which was the hometown favorite since the event took place in Washington, D.C. And Holt ended up proving that he was definitely qualified to be the underdog. Um, but not so, you didn't see that so early coming out. Uh, I believe Holt had the 14 month delay and Peterson had the 11th month delay, you know, the whole situation with Peterson, you know, not being able to get his rematch for Amari Khan due to, they say, he took illegal um, testosterone boosters, uh, you know, something weird along those lines, but into the fight as we, as we, um, let's get into the fight. You got Peterson and Holt and the judges gave and Teddy gave um, Holt the first two rounds because, you know, he did well establishing his jab coming out and uh, you know in the first and second round now I'm using his jab a lot and then the third round I really seen him started to put like at least two punch combinations together extremely well which is why I gave Holt the second, uh, the second and third but I thought Peterson done a better job of um, establishing his jab in the first round so I gave Peterson the first round followed by Holt for the second and third then came the big round which was the big change in the fight Holt was, um, Peterson was down according to their scorecards, three rounds to zero. Uh, he was down two rounds on nine. And Peterson came with a big right hand in the fourth that followed by three compact hooks that ended up putting Holt down on the canvas for the first time. And Holt was never the same. He followed the fourth up in the fifth round by curling up, clinching, doing what a good fighter is supposed to do in order to try to regain his strength. But the pressure and the amount of punches Peterson land on him end up, uh, you know, really damaging hard in that round to the point where he had to clinch so badly to the ref had to give him a warning because he wouldn't break apart, which is what you're supposed to do when you're hurt. And, you know, that's a veteran move right there. So he got the warning and uh, the, that round ended without any knockdowns. However, the next round followed by another knockdown by Peterson by a series of punches that just dropped Kendall Holt for the second time and he was able to get up at an eight count again. So this followed up by the end of the round, which people say he was saved by the bell. That's the term used. And then in the final round of the fight, it was a TKO victory by Lamont Peterson. Just applying that good old pressure, started wrapping his hands around the gloves to force Kendall Holt to start blocking around and then Peterson came straight down the middle with his power shots and any shot that he wanted to land on him and then the referee ended up stopping the fight. Uh, my thoughts for Kendall Holt is that, you know, he said he might retire if he can't get his shit together or he can't get another good fight going or, you know, see how he does in the next round. But I believe Kendall Holt, you know, he's just like he is in the game, a fighting a champion. He's in inaccurate, he's inaccurate, and you know, his punches aren't effective enough. They say he has power, but honestly, it, it doesn't really, 
it doesn't really show through any of his fights that I've seen of him. And I think that next time he will have to establish his jab more and stop using his bike as much and go with some well-placed combinations. This has been your boy Fight Night's Finest, the Sofa Commentator, bringing you guys a Friday Night Fights review. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you do. And I'm out. Peace.